pals good morning welcome to a weekly vlog so as you can tell i have killed my hair and i look slightly poodle like i can't decide if i love or hate it um maybe i should have styled it differently but i've got very gray roots so i have to tie the top up to disguise the fact that i have the hair of an 80 year old but yeah um today i i'm going to do a mukbang video which i'm very excited about um and i've just taken some photos for an instagram post i've destroyed my actually no it doesn't even look that bad here and down here is very much a mess but i got the work done that i needed to do ow i burnt my thumb on the curlers this morning and i keep touching it on things literally like the tip of my thumb um i need to get some of them heat resistant glove things i forgot they existed and hannah my pal she uses them so i might need to get some i'm gonna go film a mukbang today i actually ordered myself an amazon echo dot and an amazon echo spot it's due today but i accidentally ordered one in black and one in white and i was supposed to order them both white so now i've had to order a white one and i'm gonna have to send the black back not that you needed to know that um yesterday i didn't vlog because i mainly spent my day making a mood board um or a vision board so this is a vision board google them they seem like a cool idea and it was really fun to do i basically either printed out photos or ripped out words from magazines and stuff that i have and stuck them on so i've got like a self-care corner a travel corner um, and then this corner is kind of to remind me to love what i already have and then a goals corner like things that i want i put this on twitter but i would like to get 50,000 subscribers before the end of this year so i've put that into the universe and i hopefully will be able to reach that goal and chocolate labradoodle um i want to be able to walk a dog have a dog nice house you know bathrooms just things that i would like in my life in the hopefully near-ish future um but yeah, um, I've just taken a photo actually with my dissertation. This is what my certificate came in. My watch is beeping. But yeah, I broke out my dissertation, which I've not actually read since I submitted it. Um, I think my dad read like half of it when I very first brought it home. But other than that, I've literally not looked at it. And to be honest, I don't think I want to. Um, yeah, I think these get kept in the library in Lincoln. Um, I'm not sure if they put all the third year dissertations in the library because that's a lot of dissertations. But I'm pretty sure I used to get told that the dissertations were up on the third floor. So if you happen to go to Lincoln Uni and you want to read it, not that I think you would, you can. Right, what do I need to do? I need to take the stuff down to recycling. Now, this week's not going to be super exciting. Um, although it's Easter, or maybe it is going to be exciting. It's Easter this weekend, so chocolate is going to happen and i'm seeing the boyfriend and we're actually going to cleethorpes as a family so maybe it's going to be an interesting week i shouldn't write it off that quickly i'm gonna try and get some work done today i had a very productive day yesterday hence me not vlogging but i'm back on it and i'm excited to get going i've broken out as well my weekly planner i'd not used it for a while and i've written basically a bunch of to-do lists for every single day and i'm gonna try and get them done I'm also sat at the lakeside in Doncaster, Lakeside Village Shopping Centre, for those of you that are wondering. Um, and I'm sat facing Toys R Us, and obviously Toys R Us went broke, bust, whatever you want to call it. And it makes me so sad. It's all boarded up. And I used to love going into Toys R Us when I was little. And like just going up and down the aisles, it was like the best shop ever when you were younger. So sad. I remember going in it when it was closing and everything was so empty. I got one of those, oh my god, I remember making a special trip to here for that. Do you know those aliens that came in little eggs and like supposedly had babies? I remember coming here especially for one of those because that was like the craze of the time when i was younger <laughs> now it's like slime and fidget spinners although fidget spinners have definitely gone out of fashion now i just want to sleep now i think i'm in a bit of a food coma but i got a few messages from my manager so i'm gonna turn this into my portable office as well as my restaurant um reply to those and then go home probably i have a bag full of rubbish now i'm gonna give my dad the bits i haven't eaten because i'm sure it'd be very much appreciative of that although the only things i've not eaten is one chicken strip and the rice box because i couldn't physically pick it up trying to get in the garage and dad's put his steps in the way 
I'm gonna make him jump. <laughs> I'm home from the mukbang and I've just started editing it. Um, I've done the first round of edit and then I'm probably gonna go back through it because it's really, really long. So I'll see if I can chop some boring bits out. But oh my god, I've been falling asleep as I've been editing and I think it's because I've just eaten a load of junk food. That's properly affected me. <laughs> I mean, I usually get tired in the day, but it's usually about like 2pm when I'm hungry and it's now 7 and I'm ready to like tuck myself up in bed and go to sleep. <laughs> but forcing myself to do work, I am doing the subtitles on um, yesterday's vlog. I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday and I've just remembered so I'm gonna do that now because I like to have subtitles on all my videos now. It's gonna take a while for this one because the video is 36 minutes long so this is probably gonna take quite a while but got myself some good good uh, viewing in the background because Hannah is about to upload her vlog and I'm very happy about it. Molly has also uploaded a video so in my friend's absence I'm gonna watch their videos instead. <laughs> Perks of having um, YouTube pals as well, you know. You can always stay up to date on their lives via their videos. Good afternoon, my loves. So it is, what day is it? Tuesday? Wednesday? Oh my god, where did Tuesday go? Wow, look at that frizz. Um, my hair has calmed down quite a lot today. Um, it's still curly and I actually quite like it. I miss my hair being curly actually. I think because I bleached it so much the curls have just gone so that's annoying but um, I'm about to go to Tesco. I'm gonna go and get my boyfriend an easter egg and then I think I'm actually gonna get my parents an easter egg. I've never actually bought my parents an easter egg because I don't know I'm a kid and I just never really thought about it um and like this time last year I was in the midst of submitting my dissertation and I was a broke student a very broke student so I just never have bought easter eggs and I actually saw that Baileys like the the alcoholic drink Baileys are doing uh an easter egg and my mum loves Baileys so I'm gonna try and find that um, it sounds quite expensive, but I mean, it's got alcohol in it, so it's got to be worth it, right? Um, and she's definitely on a little bit of a health kick like me, but I'm sure she will uh, ration some Bailey's Easter egg for herself. So I'm going to go um, and do that. I've just finished editing the mukbang video that I filmed yesterday, and I really, really like it. I've just done the thumbnail. I'm having trouble with like doing thumbnails recently. I don't know why. I just am struggling trying to work out what I want to do for them. I'm vlogging on my phone because my camera battery is dead. I wanted to show you my little delivery of the day. Um, I have ordered this, which is a like weekly diary thing. And in previous years, I've had an A5 version of this. Um, I really, really love this bland, bland, blah, 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 brand. It's called uh, Personal Planner. I feel like, do I have a thing with it on? No. Um, but yeah, basically, if I remember, I'll link it down below, but it's just personal-planner.com, I believe. Um, and they do like mid-year diaries. You can customise them to start whenever you want in the year. Um, and obviously, because this is now April, I did it this way. And I decided to get a tiny one this time because I thought this fits in my bag easier than the other one. I used to have quite a chunky one when I was at uni. I've had this is now my third planner from this company. I love them so much. And like in previous years, I've been gifted the planner, but this year I bought it because I love it a lot. So yeah, I chose my layout um, and chose like the colours at the top and the colours in the background. And then I chose to have this as like a little motivational quote. So each week it's a different quote, which I thought was really cute. Um, you get a little um, wallet thing for the back for any notes and you also get a little ruler but i can't find it here it is a little ruler that fits on the like springs of it and i also use this as a bookmark and then some stickers i have a huge stash of these stickers somewhere from my previous planners so i'm gonna have to find them out but yeah i figured this is a nice way to get my life together i was feeling unmotivated and i said yesterday that i've started using my desk planner again but I wanted one to have like when I'm on the go. So I'm using this and I like that it's spiral bound because it means when it's on my desk, it's going to lay flat. Oh, also you can choose like fun things to go in the back. And every time 
I choose Sudoku because, I don't know, I, I find Sudoku quite fun actually when I'm sat doing nothing. I chose some lined note pages and also some blank note pages if I want to doodle or whatever. And then also some colouring pages. Um, those of you who are like OG subscribers will probably remember my old planners. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. I'm very happy I got um, a smaller size actually. I feel like I'm going to use it more because it's easier to like have with me. Very happy with that. Right, going to go and get an Easter egg and maybe, should I get one for myself? I don't know. I'll see if they're on offer. And if the, there is an Oreo Easter egg on offer, probably going to buy one for myself too. Here is Alice's very wonky Easter egg haul. Um, so I found the egg in question. This one, salted caramel, Bailey's egg. I mean, if I liked Bailey's, I couldn't think of anything better, could you? Um, also for my dad, quality street egg. I feel like that's a classic for, for the older generation, you know. I don't like quality street, I like heroes. I am a Cadbury's chocolate lover through and through. Um, talking of Cadbury's, got myself, <laughs> got myself an egg. I knew I wouldn't be able to resist. There wasn't any Oreo ones that I could see um, and I just got a little baby one. Uh, and it was £1.50. I doubt that will last till Easter. And then I got my boyfriend Kit Kat Chunky Egg. Um, and it was like two for £10. My mum's egg by itself was £10. So I was like, damn. But she deserves it. So yeah, I'm, I've done my Easter Bunny duties for the day. I'm now going to go home. And I actually ordered myself an Amazon uh, Echo Dot and an Echo Spot. So I'm going to set that up and film a video. I feel like I probably mentioned this yesterday. Um, and I'm also rather hungry. So I'm going to raid the fridge, I reckon. Love that um, I've just set up my new Alexa. I'm not going to say her name loud because she'll listen to me. Um, and the Echo Spot, the one with the screen, doesn't work. So they're sending me a replacement. I love that. I waited all night to open that um, and I should have opened it yesterday because I would have discovered that it didn't work in time. But no oh well, um, what should I do now? I need to finish a couple of things for my website so I might do that actually um, because I've got my video edited and I no longer have a video idea for tomorrow because setting up my Echo Dot on a video wasn't as exciting as I hoped. <laughs> I'm not looking my best, am I? I've got pseudocrem on my face and wet hair because I've just been in the shower. But I've just got a delivery from Amazon once again because yesterday's uh, Echo Spot didn't work. So I rang customer service um, and they tried to fix it and then ended up sending a new one. So I'm going to open it. And fingers crossed this one works because this is the one that's going to be on my bedside table as like an alarm clock. So hopefully it'll work. Here it is. Second time lucky. Okay. Attempt number two at making this work. Have I turned the plug on? <gasps> the screen turns on. We have more progress than we did yesterday. Gonna peel this. Oh, satisfying. Hello, ready for setup? Yay, it works. Whilst that's updating, I'm gonna go and help mum cook dinner. I'm coming, mummy. So, chef is here. Good. One of my fave meals, this. It's this one from Slimming World, if you wanna pause it. I don't even know if you can read that because it's very battered. Just now the jump is ordered the wrong colour um, Echo Dot and I was going to return it but I've decided to keep it so we've put it downstairs that's what I was dancing to in the last clip and dad's just coming from work so because they're all connected I was like dad what's your favourite song and he said Bohemian Rhapsody so I asked my um, Echo Dot to play Bohemian Rhapsody downstairs and he's just like wow that's cool I like that <laughs> let's get his opinion what? Did you enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't work out where we were coming from. <laughs> Did you have to go and look at it? Yeah, I couldn't find speakers. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. I'm fully amused because I've 
wow that focus there because i've connected them all together so if i ask her to play music everywhere she plays it on my bedroom one my office one and the downstairs one it's so good i can't wait to have my own house i'm gonna like fully tech it out with like those light bulbs and stuff that you can tell to turn on <laughs> this is the future and also the future of being lazy but i'm okay with that hello good morning how are you doing it is almost 12 o'clock oh light um i've got a leaky spot on my face so i've not covered it up just yet because i figured that's going to make it worse um so that's good but i am going to the hairdressers today hence why my hair is looking a little bit like hagrid or hermione's because i brushed it this is what happens when you brush like curly hair well i wouldn't say my hair's curly it's just a bit bit nothing now isn't it but yeah i'm gonna go and get the ends trimmed because they're like so fried and dead from the uh bleach um so i'm just gonna get a cut and blow i think i've <laughs> my parents were playing music on alexa this morning don't listen to me um and i could hear them shouting at her so that was funny but yeah today haircut we're going dress shopping for my mum for my brother's wedding um and then uh my boyfriend's coming around and we're gonna go nip to lincoln for a couple of hours because it's jade's birthday soon and the old like housemates and uni pals and everyone are all gonna be at jade's so last night they messaged me like do you want to come around so i figured it's gonna be worth it um i've not seen them for a while it's an hour drive both there and back so i'm gonna be driving for two hours um but it's gonna be worth it because i'm gonna see everyone and then my boyfriend gets to meet everyone so yeah nice little visit to lincoln later and it's very sunny i think it's like 15 degrees according to um my clock hair is done it's like i've had like this much chopped off the ends and then she's curled it so it looks a lot shorter than it is but yeah i love it and she's also told me that if i put like a deep kind of lilac-y purple color on my hair one apparently it will suit me <laughs> i don't know let me know um and two it will make it like when it fades out it will fade out back to gray and it will make it, all the warm tones in it go because i've got like a strip of like warm colored hair but yeah mum dyed my hair yesterday and apparently she did a good job she did my roots um <laughs> i was quite nervous about going to rose actually because obviously we spent all that time like bleaching it light and now i'm putting uh, dye on it again my own day but yeah this angle but yeah i think i think i'm forgiven she says that like every couple of years i have a meltdown and i'll bleach my hair and then regret bleach my hair and dye it and then dye it dark again and then grow it out so i think she's got me sussed out uh fully sussed out hasn't she but now i'm gonna go back home i need to eat some food and then we're gonna go dress shopping with mum i really like my hair i'm enjoying the curls a lot. Personal favourite photo. Beautiful. I had a bit of a nightmare because I wanted to print uh, a photo out on my printer, as you do, and my printer has decided it's run out of ink, even though I only filled the ink up like. I don't know two weeks ago three weeks ago um so that serves me right for buying cheap ink doesn't it so yeah apparently my ink is empty so i need to leave to drive to lincoln in like an hour it's bank holiday and i had no ink so yeah it was good but yeah i've managed to like I used my Zoe mini printer and like did a little collage and I think it looks quite cute and I was actually going to do a collage print anyway so I've just kind of done it in a different roundabout way. As we know Jade loves chicken nuggets so I got this. <laughs> Nugs not drugs! How cute is that? It's from Amazon and i hope she loves it i'm gonna attempt to fold it so she can see it as she opens it okay i have picked up the boyfriend here he is <laughs> um and look where we've been oops this is the second kfc i've had in a week and before that i'd not had kfc for 
years <laughs> but my boyfriend watched the mukbang video and he got jealous so i bought us kfc we're gonna eat this and then i'm gonna head off to lincoln but very happy about this it's good isn't it it's finger looking good oh smooth do you know what it's grown on me i think i was a bit shocked the other day when i had it i think this one's better last time it wasn't was great but yeah right we're just having a little mini mukbang <laughs> and then we're gonna go <laughs> bit of context we are following zach For those of you who watch my um uni, uni videos you'll remember zach you'll probably remember this man it was brown last time you saw it it's still shit what is it doing is it does it have gears it doesn't, it doesn't sound happy <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't have indicators so they keep sticking their hands out the window we're just waiting for the next time they have to use the indicator <laughs> I mean, that looks like a cute shot though with the sunset. His exhaust keeps popping. This way! <laughs> <laughs> We're going right. Jabba's is here. Mm -hmm. We're all sleeping out. I won Trivial Pursuit! Yeah, you won! Woo! Just oh, remember yeah. who won Monopoly last time. It's me. Oh my god. <laughs> <Jesus laughs> right, we're going now. Time, I, I forgot to vlog, we got two in. Oh, thanks it. for my birthday present. It's alright, thanks for my fajitas. Yeah, so sick. Oh, yeah, but they're actually alright. They, they, cool, they were good, they were corn fajitas. I'm going to eat some later. Tomorrow. They were good, yeah. Not I'd later, eat corn tomorrow. again. Eat faux show. Would do again. Would do. Would 10 out of 10. Bang. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> Mummy. Oh, thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We're going to the gym on a Saturday morning bank holiday. One more. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> There's a huge wasp in the conservatory. We're gonna we're gonna play Jenga, so I'm gonna build build the Jenga. Whipped mate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a green. Oh my god. So excited. Good morning, we are at Cleethorpe's beach and it's so sunny and nice. We've got grandma here, the boy, dad's forgot his shoes so he's gone back to the car, but it's so sunny, it's so nice, we're going to get fish and chips, have a stroll, brought my kite so I can fly it, and what else have we got? Bucket and spade, <laughs> all the essentials, we're a group of adults but we've bought bucket and spade and there's a cute doggo in front of me. Game on. It's a tradition. Grandma is talking, talking dirty already. She wants to challenge us, so She's got to accept. Down. She is going down. Downtown. You're swimming, Grandma. You're swimming. She's talking to it like it's gonna help. She went. See that all there? You need to go in there. Hey, still better than me. I got four. Put it back in the hole, yeah. Yeah, try. Oh, it's not straight. <laughs> Look what she's delivering us. Yeah. We've just eaten our chips, but we're going to try and win a Dumbo, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Because everywhere we go, 
we have to try the grabbers. <laughs> We're in a bit of a queue. Let's go. Oh no, there was a double queue. Everyone wants the Dumbo. Hopefully she'll set it up for us. Oh, imagine if she got it before us. We'd have to change. We can get a Dumbo. It's not going to give it out that often, is it? <gasps> oh my god, that was the highest you've ever picked one up. <laughs> Home with us today. Look at the size of that. It doesn't look as big on camera. I got this. Mum's got a large as well. Greedy. So good. You gotta listen up, listen up. There's not a thing that I can Ready. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's <laughs> go get knocked out by a kite. Whoa! <laughs> what you ready? Trying to get down action shots. Boy, I don't need that much, need that much. How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me things. I never needed you to dial the rings. All I ever need, I need, I. All I ever need is here with you. So this is Cribs. Welcome to our house. You need to come into the front door. We've got steps. A doorway, double doors, <laughs> all the way up. Where's your back door? We don't need one, we don't want people to come in very often. What happens if you need a fire escape? I don't want a fire escape. Yeah, but you might be able to get through the front door. He's so proud of himself. So much proudness. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's packed in. Uh, it's too survived. Good while it lasted. Them now. I need help getting out. Killed our children! <laughs> children? As well as knocking your house down, you killed your children. <laughs> I saved them! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> You've got no change of clothes. Dad's car. Yeah, you must get <laughs> exactly. off So me, get right? out! He's burying me. That wasn't my face. It's cold. Yeah, because we didn't even have time to put the central heating on before you destroyed our house. <laughs> you had a good day, Grandma. I've had a brilliant, fantastic, <laughs> wonderful day, thank you. We're all windswept now, aren't we? Yes. We're done playing. We're yeah, going to we... go home and eat some food. Played on beach today now. <laughs> <laughs> it is now Monday and I'm sat in the garden because it's still lovely weather and I'm editing the vlog and I've realised I didn't end it. What a surprise. I've got like a cap on. <laughs> Look a bit weird but it's really hard to edit in the sun I've discovered. So I'm actually sat in the shade which kind of defeats the point but I will. Yeah I really enjoyed um, editing this vlog actually. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a super cute family filled um, and we ate a lot of chocolate so yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog let me know your favorite easter egg to get mine's just anything dairy milk so yeah happy with that i've already eaten one of my eggs i got um from my boyfriend and a couple of cream eggs <laughs> yeah chocolate doesn't count this time of year right it's not a calorie at all but yeah thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you soon for another video bye